thought if you had a fashion show and show stoppers coming in, you would have clapped louder. So that is for Indian Women Rising, two women from Delhi. And uh, what a coincidence, Guneet, because, you know, people sitting here, they've all watched your films, but rarely do we speak about a person's journey. So these are two women, both from Delhi. And coincidentally, in a hotel which is near the King Khan's palace, he's also from Delhi. And Guneet has an interesting story. So she was this young girl from Delhi with a dream of making it big in the film world. And very different from others because she didn't want to be an actress, not a showstopper, definitely, right? And she didn't want to direct, she didn't want to write, but she just wanted to tell stories. She wanted to ensure that all of us get to see the most beautiful stories from different parts of the country. And that's a rare wish to have. And she stood outside Manat, making a Manat ki mere ye arman pura ho jai. And mehar ho sab ki. Jo ki ho gai. And look at you, the most celebrated film producer that we have in the country. I'd Thank love you. to know from you about your journey and how, as a woman, you made it as the most successful female producer representing Indian cinema globally. Thank you, Zara. Thank you, um, E4M, for having me here. And uh, I'm so happy to be here and speaking to everybody. Um, you know, of course, we all come to the city with dreams. Aisi Bombay ka naam bada, sapno ki nagri hai. And of course, the land of stories. So uh, I came here 2006, and of course, stood in front of Mannat, and I was like, one day, you know, um, the city will also know my name. So, yeah. So just, just grateful that um, my work has tracked. People have had, people have seen the films and have been, have given great feedback globally. So. Um, it's been a journey of ups and downs. It's been a journey of constant hustle. Matlab, uh, ek time hota hai jab aapko hustle ke hi blame kiya jata hai ki you're so Punjabi. You know, like anything to put you in a box. Uh, you are so like, you know, you're so, uh, I'm a producer. So you're, you're somebody who talks about money. I was like, I want, it's, you know, at least movie making is combination of art and commercials, right? So, but I, I but early on you take all of this, guilt and you internalize it ki matlab mujhe shayad nahi aata i don't know how to say the right thing in a room or read a room you know and over a period of time you just realize that you're fine you know and uh, i think the journey that you do from your 20s to 30s um, so here i am um, i came to the city 2006 and uh, yes made a bunch of movies that did well uh, and I'm happy here to address it. And the reason of making, I think Indian Women Rising was to, you know, I feel like somebody uh, paved some way for me. And as I go along, I need to put two blocks behind for another woman to come, step onto them, and to be able to um, tell their story, you know, because there are so many opportunities out there, and why not? Um, so, yes, so that's the reason Indian Women Rising got formed and uh, yeah, we continue telling stories, one, one story at a time. This narrative is opposite to what we see on TV and it's interesting that you, Ekta, Tahira and you know, uh, Ruchika have come together and, and you're creating this beautiful platform because the saying is that ek aurat kabhi ek aurat ki dost nahi ho sakti hai. And here we are, we are actually celebrating women who have a dream to make it big in the content and entertainment industry and you are putting it together as opposed to what we see on TV and OTT. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I really want to say here that uh, a short film of mine that I had, uh, that, that I executive produced called um, A Period End of Sentence, it won an Oscar uh, in 2019. And uh, it's a short doc on Netflix. Please watch it. Plug. Uh, but um, you know, the journey of that film really, really, really enforced that 
actually when one woman empowers another, we actually open the door for 10 more. And it's magical to run life like a relay and not one at a time, you know, because um, when we, it's, it's actually on us on how we talk about each other in rooms that we are not there. You know, and uh, there is nothing more empowering than, um, than, 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 you know, than saying that there is, there is abundant of work. So, you know, shuru se because aisa bola jata hai that, uh, you know, like women should not work, there are all these, for generations our mothers have thought that, um, that you should not work, you have to run the house because the man has to go win the bread. So, coming from there, I think the narrative kind of said that there is only those many places, there are only those many seats. So, we've always been told it's either you or her, you know, so then you get into, you start with a sense of competition, which is a big lie in its whole entirety, it's a whole thing is a lie. There is abundance, itna kaam hai for everyone, the jobs can be filled by the most competitive people out there. And uh, why not? I think the minute we make that switch within us, we start celebrating each other, that's when the narrative whole changes, that she's amazing. And what does it take for us to say that about each other? You know, and to actually call out patriarchy that we have been um, subject to. You know, we don't even realize, but it's conditioning, it's generation of patriarchy that we have internalized. And we are only ourselves ke roadblocks. So period end of sentence was a bunch of school girls in LA uh, who decided to do yoga thons and bake sales and raise some money, empower young girls in Hapur near Delhi. And uh, I was just orchestrating and being a producer to make sure uh, we shoot and the content happens. But I literally saw what happens when a woman empowers another. It's beautiful, we went on to win an Oscar. So, there's enough and more for us. Congratulations. And I can only say more power to you and more stories should be told because we got to celebrate positive stories. I think everyone sitting out here, the women sitting out here, gorgeous ones, the ones who are so talented that they've made it so far and you're representing your company, the content, the brands that you stand for. I think we all deserve to tell positive stories. I feel that diversity, inclusivity should not be the HR jargon that is in fashion these days and we all love flaunting it when we speak about our companies. It should actually translate into communication, into content, into stories and more than that into your own thoughts and actions, which is exactly what you're doing, all four of you coming together. Uh, why don't you tell us about the opportunities that you want to create through the platform I'd rather be more inclusive. I should say we are creating because as group M, we fully support IWR and the initiative. And as a part of the initiative under positive impact or diversity, inclusivity, in fact, the kind of stories that we want to tell because we interact with so many brands. And I've always felt that, yes, you know, uh, a thriller on OTT is very exciting. Yes, you want to see that big, coming and kicking 100 villains and the item number song and you want to dance and listen to that. But the world still deserves positive and inspiring stories so that your journey, like anyone else's, could be celebrated. No, absolutely. I think uh, we're just getting started, you know. So uh, Indian Women Rising, was we only came together last year. Um, there is, you know, I've, we've always felt that uh, there is a need to um, to just share our knowledge firstly, you know. Uh, the, the decades, the decade and a half that I have spent in the industry um, and the wisdom that I have gained, the self-doubt that I have come across and come over, I just think I need to talk about it freely to to the younger lot coming into this industry because when I was in Delhi, the people said that the girl will get out of the hand, you know. So, Bombay chale gai, ladki to haath se nikal gai. But nahi, bohat, ab, matlab, ab wohi sab log saath mein khade ho ke photo kich baat hai. You know, ki my niece, my nephew, distant uncle, auntie is also like, woh guneet Bombay mein hai na. So now wohi haath se nikli hoi ladki is a sense of pride. So narrative has changed, you know. So we need to do that for everybody else because actually 
this industry is beautiful. There's extremely well read, amazing people ready to tell stories, empower each other, and who even understand, who are articulating uh, what our conditioning is and how we are breaking those norms. So Indian Women Rising came together uh, is just, you know, it was a conversation between Taira, me, Ikta and Ruchika. Um, and it was like, we need to do something <laughs> to just make sure it's easier. You know, we've all had that um, huge, um, I I suffered with a massive um, uh, imposter syndrome post lunchbox. Post producing gangs of us about lunchbox, I was like, it's a fluke. <laughs> Mujhe kaam nahi aata. You know, and then coming out from there and saying, of course I know what to do and I, am, and I am producing it and I can continue to do more. I set up my company and of course been producing and um, traveling uh, around the world. But um, coming back to Indian Women Rising um, and the support of WBB, we actually want to be able to celebrate stories um, um, that are, are made by women, that are directed by women, that are women in the center. We want to double down and add our power, our collective resources, our, um, our media strength, our uh, social media handles, our knowledge, our contacts, and open doors for those stories so that they can have the right platform and can be celebrated. And for them, it is not like those are lucky to reach the right person. You know, so we've spent that years. So we want to be that bridge that can just be like, okay, you're amazing, let's do this you know, across our companies, across the opportunities that Ekta, Balaji, or me at Sikhya or Tahira has, there's enough bandwidth and knowledge to make that bridge. So that's where Indian Women Rising started. It also, uh, it's also, it, the, the reason for us to also come together was basic stats. You know, there are less than 5% women who are directors. So the minute that stats, it really hits you. You're like less than 5%. We can do a little better, na? Matlab, at least in position of producing, in position of being marketeers, in position of financing, we can definitely internalize these basic stats and try and do our bit, because why not? You know, what, is it, what does it take to say, a check first time director, uh, if, if um, it's a man, you, you can be like, achha, chal, is pe das karo laga dete but if it's a woman, you're like, ye kar legi? You know, so what is, so, so it's, it's point to check within us. You know, n it's not to put it on somebody else. It's like, what is it that we don't have that confidence? You know, and why can't they not do it? So the stats are really poor. And where do we even start bridging that gap? So it's not like tomorrow, uh, I understand the business. And, and I'm not here saying, okay, let's just write checks to women and they should, no, I, I just think building an ecosystem is very important. So that there can be a step-by-step -step growth, right? So uh, we actually want to start a mentorship and, and an internship platform and open our good offices and all the offices we have access to to be able to have more and more safe spaces for women media students. So that is where we are beginning um, and we are picking up movies that we can release, we can, we can push. We did do the Oscar campaign for a short last year called Bitu. Um, and we put in a lot of power to help, you know, a student get through the campaign because everybody here understands how um, crazy it is and how much years of knowledge everybody has to put through to run one campaign. So that comes handy with us. So yeah, so we're beginning, we're a little startup um, and all we have is our knowledge and our contacts and our resources, our phone books and we're ready to open it for just amazing women talent to walk through and that is where we are beginning from. We're very excited for our conversations with WPP and with Group M um, and uh, it's going to be amazing in the coming months as we talk more about what we are up to. Absolutely and I think uh, the fact that it's not about just giving it to women just like that, just because they're women. The fact is that the platform promises that they will empower, enable them and facilitate the whole learning curve so that they become more deserving and can actually go create magic on screen, which is the beauty that we want to celebrate and create together. And I hope that the entire universe of platforms, co-creators, 
partners and brands also partner with us eventually in this journey because it deserves everyone to tell the story. I don't think, uh, you know, initiatives like these uh, can be the brain ch children of three or four people that, you know, here are four or five people producing this together. It needs to be a larger conversation and happy that we are having it on this platform. I always tell Guneet that, you know, she's the, got this amazing imaginative mind to, and, and the power to create magic. So Ellen Musk was launching satellites and she was sitting and launching Indian Women Rising and we were facilitating that. How beautiful can that be? It's very exciting. It's actually very empowering because it's an idea that uh, stemmed and now we have a team, we have an office and we have plans. Uh, that are that are taking shape um, it is it's actually amazing to be able to see you know we it, w I know the hustle what it takes to make a movie to make a piece of content but this is uh, far larger you know this is uh, hoping that many more content and many more units come out of it that we are all proud of it and all of you in this room have a role to play in that because it's not something that we are producing, we're just enabling. So that's where we are. I wish Pushpa was created with another Pushpa and that was popular. That is the ambition that we have. I have an ambition that, you know, we create bigger RRRs where there are Rajambolis, <laughs> the female Rajambolis and likes who can actually come and create national blockbusters. And all of you can partner and promote that and we can all sing and dance to it. So, yes, to the women in the room, to the men who will definitely stand by the women and support them, and to you and everyone else at IWR, thank you so much and more power and blessings from everyone. Thank you. I do want to say that this is not about alienating a gender, it's about working together. It's about uh, putting the stats out there and asking each other what we can all do. Uh, it is about coexisting. It's about safe spaces. And uh, thank you for everybody who understands the need of changing the stats. It really means a lot. So to all the women and to all the men backing and supporting us, because let's do it. It's our time. And why can't we, of course, go make the biggest thrillers and creature features and you know, Marvel and movies and yeah, I mean, car commercials <laughs> because this whole thing of women can't do it. So let's change the number. But thank you. Thank you everybody for listening to us and supporting us. Thank you.